All right, welcome back. Uh, so what we're gonna do this time is we're gonna do some automatic routing. Uh, so uh, if you are to sign in um, and you sign in with Rose Fire, uh, you stay on the sign in page and you can see that I'm signed in because I've got my dots. But what I want to happen is I want to automatically get routed over to the main page, right? So I wanna get kicked over to the main page. I also wanna do another thing and that's if I'm on the main page ever, like if I'm ever on the main page and I'm not signed in, uh, I want it to boot me out. So like right here, if I say sign out, um, I want it to boot me over uh, to the sign in page. So we want those programmatic routes to happen uh, and we're gonna kind of show you how we set that up. All right, let's see about making that happen. Um, so I'm gonna come over here to the sign in component. Uh, I'm gonna look for when it says my Firebase sign in is now done. And what I want to do right here is I want to do uh, a routing action. In order to route somebody, uh, you're going to need to use dependency injection uh, to get the router. Uh, so I'm just going to say private, uh, and I'm just going to call it router. Um, and what it's called is, uh, I forget the name, I'm going to guess router, and router is right. Uh, and you can see it does this thing where it doesn't really give me the option that I want for the router. I'm not quite sure what's up with that, but you just want add angular slash router, uh, which is fine. Now that I've done dependency injection to get the router, I can use it down here. Uh, so I'm gonna say this.router.navigate, um, and you pass uh, navigate something. Uh, the thing that you pass it, interestingly enough, is actually an array, um, and you pass it an array of the different router components that you've got. Um, and so the only component that I've got here is a single component. Um, I'm actually going to the naked domain. So I pass it a single string uh, in the array and that's where it's gonna take me. Keep in mind that like if you're doing things like we did last time with the Rose router, let's say you're going to like munch 100, uh, your first element in the array would be slash munch and then the second element would be 100. If you go back and look at the HTML that we did back then, uh, it all kind of makes sense. So this is essentially you know, what's passed into a router link in HTML. So let's go try this out. So now, uh, at the moment I sign in, so right now I'm signed out, so I'm gonna sign in, um, and what happens is as soon as it finishes the sign in, you can see it automatically brought me over here. So that was actually, so we're 50% done, right? Which is kind of neat. Um, so that was one of the two things that I wanted to do. Um, and so now if I sign out, um, I want that to take me back to the other page. And in fact, I want to do more than that. I want to, not just when I click sign out, but if I'm ever on this page, like somebody just navigates straight here, if I'm ever on this page and I'm not signed in, um, I want to get kicked out, right? So it's kind of a, it's an off guard is what it's called. We'll learn about off guards more in detail next time. This time we're going to implement what's called a manual off guard. Um, and next time we'll show you a fancier way to do it. So here's what I want to do. So this work is going to have to happen over in Maine. And what Maine is going to have to do is Maine is going to have to know if you're signed in or not. Um, and if you're not signed in, you get the boot, right? So let's go ahead and make that happen. It's actually really similar to the code that we wrote over in the app component. Um, now, whenever code is this similar, you're probably asking yourself, hey, if it's so similar, why don't I refactor it and put it into one place? Um, and that will do next time as well with the service. I'm intentionally kind of saving some things for next time, though. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy uh, from the word on an it. Uh, so I've got didn't copy implements all the way to the end of the function. And I'm going to go over to main, which really doesn't have anything useful in it. Um, and I'm going to take from the word uh, implements on, and I'm just going to paste. And then I'm going to start fixing things, right? Start at the top with my fixing. It says on destroy, don't know what that is, need to import it, easy fix. Next is subscription, don't know what that is. I uh, need to import it, easy fix there. Show sign out, that's actually, um, that one I copied over from app component, but I didn't really need it. Uh, Angular fire off, yep, need to do an import for that. Uh, Firebase, uh, so this one's kind of interesting because it's it's saying that it, it doesn't have the import, but it doesn't know where to get it from. Um, we know how to do that. We did that back in favorite things. Uh, we made a, a Firebase import snippet, um, and that uh, that takes care of that one. And so you can see that it's got the same kind of thing going on. It's got a subscription uh, to the auth state, um, and the auth state gives you either a user or not. 
Um, and so this says, um, you know, sign in finished uh, or sign out finished. And what we want to do is whenever sign out happens, uh, we want to boot them out right here. So we know what the code is going to look like. It's going to say this.router.navigate. Um, and it's not helping with code completion at all right now because I'm missing some other steps. But I'm going to go ahead and type it. Um, and so it's going to send me over to uh, this slash sign in route. Now it wasn't helping with autocomplete because I haven't done the dependency injection step yet. Uh, I could copy this from before, but it's pretty easy to type. So we'll just go ahead and type it again. Uh, and so we've got the router here, which we have to import from Angular slash router. Uh, my auto importer did not figure out the root, uh, which I'm sure there's a reason for, but I, I don't know the reason, but I know how to fix it. So now it says this.router.navigate. Uh, so if you're not signed in, uh, kick them over to the sign in page. And instead of saying sign out finished, I'm going to say user is not signed in, uh, which is probably a more accurate message. Um, and this one is going to say uh, user is signed in as, um, and then we can print out their UID. So what we want to do here is we're going to print out their user.uid. So in here we know uh, that they are signed in. On destroy uh, does an unsubscribe. Um, unsubscribe is actually important this time uh, because when you come to this page and then you leave it, you want to subscribe and then you want to unsubscribe later. Uh, this sign out method that was actually just copied in from the other place and we didn't really need it. Uh, cool, so now um, we should see this work and it should probably already kind of be working. And the reason I say it's probably already kind of like working is because if we go uh, to localhost, you can see it says sign in right now, and that's because it was on this page. Uh, but then as soon as it noticed that user is not signed in, it, it punted us out. Um, so I think that's kind of cool. So if anybody ever comes to your website, you know, they bookmark that. If they're not signed in, it just boots them over here. So let's go ahead and do the whole process now. So signing in, and you can see it automatically navigates me over to main. There was a slight delay there. I consider that a feature. Um, and then whenever we sign out, uh, it boots us over to sign in instantly. It's kind of interesting to think about sign out because what's really happening here is you're calling this sign out. Um, so you're now signed out. And then this, this subscription, this stream, it observes that sign out happened uh, and then it's booting you out, right? So those are the two things that are happening. Uh, cool, so I think that we have implemented what I was hoping to do this time, and that is the automatic bouncing uh, from one place to the other, uh, and then if you're not signed in, from the other place back. Great, so see you next time, and we'll start talking about data. See you then. Bye. <music>